I want to apply. Don't get an attitude with me, sister. So if you see my hair flaky, just close your mouth. This is everything. So, I just got back from the grocery store because I don't know why, but I like to wait till the last minute or I don't know, like, not the last minute, but, like, till I'm, like, running, running out to go to the grocery store. But I'm not doing that no more. I'm, like, because I feel like each time I'm just getting more and more because, like, I'll be having to do, like, a full restock. Like, it's a new collection or something. Like, I'm, like, I own a business and I'm doing a new collection or something. Like, girl. And it's just, like... Can we get that together? Can we, can we get that together? My camera is on like 16%. So, but yeah, I went to Aldi, of course. I didn't go to the bargain grocery store because how much I spent at Aldi already. I was like, mm, yeah, I should. So my thing was whenever I went to the store, I, before I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get like produce and I'm just gonna get like, uh, milk and stuff because I don't get that from the bargain grocery store because no <laughs> like so I wasn't gonna do that but then when I got in there I was like you know what like I just started putting stuff in the cart that like I kept forgetting every time I went to the grocery store and I just got it and then it ended up being like <laughs> more stuff than I thought I was gonna get so and that's why I'm like I'm gonna start going to the grocery store incrementally because I don't like doing the full restocks like and I don't remember the last time I went to the grocery store. It was a while ago. I think I go like every month or every three weeks. I think, cause my stuff lasts me, cause I live alone. So <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Okay, so the first thing on top, I got this um, Monastery sliced cheese for sandwiches um, because we need sandwiches. Like, then I got these mini cucumbers. These are on sale. I got those. Or else I would have just got one because I don't really eat cucumbers like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I've seen this. I was like, ooh, like this is so interesting. So this is key lime habanero hot sauce. They had like blood orange and lemon lime. I was like, I don't want lemon lime. I feel like there's gonna be too much acidity in there. So I was like, key lime. That one's a little bit sweeter. So I was like, key lime habanero, let me try it. I was tempted with the blood orange, but I remember blood orange is super tart. I was like, uh, blood orange and habanero, I don't think that's a good mixture. And I finally got banana peppers back again. I haven't had these so long, and I literally love banana peppers. I'll eat banana peppers on everything. And then, dude, I don't know how many videos I've talked about getting tortillas and I've never gotten them. I finally got some. Like, dude, like... What was I thinking? What was I doing? I got some almond milk. This is the only milk I drink. I drink almond milk. I don't drink whole milk anymore because whole milk just, eh, not for me. <laughs> Let's just say that, not for me. Not for me, you know, not for me. Then I got some breakfast. Um, these are the biscuits. It's sausage, egg, and cheese. Of course, Baldi brand. Because who was paying all that for those? You know what? And that's another thing I get from the bargain store. I get the breakfast um, sandwiches and stuff because they're on sale and it's a good price. See, that's what I was like doing the most. And I should have just been like, no, let me go to the other store. Two trips. And they're literally on the same road, but like <sighs> kind of far down the road away from each other. Then I got this again. This was so good last time. I just like splurged and got it. This is the Korean um, barbecue style beef udon. It was so good last time. And the Aldi that I went to was a big one and it has everything. The small one that's by my job sucks. The only reason I go there is because it's convenient, like, it's there, and I can just go after work and just pick up my stuff and then drive home, but I'm just going to start going home, coming home, or just driving past my house and going to the Aldi that's over there. There's something in my eye, and it hurts, um, yeah, but I got some blackberries, hopefully these are sweet, I haven't had blackberries in a while. And I was like raking my brain like what fruit I wanted. Dude, the grapes that I usually get were all gone. I was so mad. 
So then I was like, okay, well, let me get my cuties, my oranges. They were all gone too. So I think with this grocery store, I'm going to have to go like on the weekday because the weekend it was ran through a little bit, but it was ran through, but it wasn't as ran through as the one that's by my job. This one is a bigger one and they have everything, like everything, but I would say the fruits and vegetables, the grape. Okay. So the grapes and the cuties are the only two things that weren't there that I needed that I was looking for. So yeah. And then when I go to the other one, it's like a whole bunch of stuff. I'm like, where is it? Like they don't have it. Then I got a pizza. I mean, I always get a pizza because they're like $4 and they're $4. And I always get one because who doesn't need a pizza? Like who's going to cook every day? Not me. So let me pop this pizza in the oven. Bro, I got pizza, but I don't have any. I have a little bit of ranch. I should have got more. I forgot. And then, of course, I got to recycle my salads. I'm going to stand by. I'm going to super stand on the um, the Aldi salads. The little salad bar, bust down, go crazy. So, I got the Caesar salad, bust down. Love me a Caesar salad. Love the Caesar salad. Then, I got the sweet kale chopped salad. Love this one, too. So, my thing is, like, I eat them, like, spread out throughout the weeks. So... And those salads, it's like, it's like two two or three portions for me. So, like, I just make one and, like, spread it out throughout the week. And then um, I got the Asian chopped salad. And the trick about it is if you get a salad with kale in it, the kale lasts longer than the ones with spinach in it. Because we all know that spinach, once it goes limp and it starts acting crazy, it's, mm -hmm. it's time to go. Then I got Brussels sprouts. I just wanted to try it. I want to try something different. I've had these, like, three or four times before. My mom used to make it. But not a lot, not frequently. And I don't know, like, I wasn't a kid that hated vegetables. So, I don't know. My mom just like didn't really make it that much. Um, then I got mixed vegetables. I don't have any. I didn't have any. So every meal I'm like, what vegetables am I gonna make? I didn't have any. Then I got cut green pea, green beans. And I just like stocked up on the veggies. Because I didn't have any. And another mixed vegetable. And then I had like a little tiny bit of fries. So I got some crinkle cut fries. Then I got turkey bacon. Cause I'm done with regular bacon, like dead serious. I'm not doing it anymore because I get so hot. It's not even fun, like I'm done with it. Then I got these hot dogs. I'm done with that regular bacon. I cannot, I'm not joking, guys. <laughs> like, it makes me so hot and it makes me feel like really bad. So I just cut it out. So I got honey baked ham and then I got honey turkey breast. I got two meats because, um, like I don't wanna have to keep on, because that's already like not like a lot of meat. So I just got two because I'm not gonna keep going back to the store like every, Every other week or every week, like for, see, I'm just contradicting myself. Never mind. Don't listen to what I just said because I said I'm gonna go incremental, incrementally, and now I'm just saying like, oh, I got that, got two because I don't want to go. Never mind. Forget what I said. I'm gonna go. <laughs> and these are the buffalo style chicken strips. I got them as like something fast um, to pop in the air fryer and make because we're not cooking every day. And then I got these grilled. Grilled and ready, um, the Fugia chicken breast. Hence why I got um, tortillas. I, I got salsa, but I didn't get sour cream. It's like either I get something and I don't get something. It's like, what the heck? I always forget something. Whatever. Then I got the ramen. This ramen is so good. It was like, I think it was like 80 cent. I got the teriyaki. And then I got the chicken. Only got two. Because I ran out of my Korean ramen. I ran out of my, my, um, what's that word? What's it called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. The, the chicken carbonara, I mean, chicken carbonara on TikTok. The Bodak, Bodak ramen. Yeah, yeah. Don't play with it at all. Then I got this Jello no bake, um, the cheesecake. I was like, let me try it out. And then, like, I was thinking, I was like, well, I got the blackberries. I can make, like, a blackberry topping to go on the cheesecake. Dude. Think smart. Think smart. 
And then of course I got the graham cracker crust. Then I got mashed potatoes, which is not really mashed potatoes. It's the dried one because I'm not, last time I made mashed potatoes, they turned out so bad. I was like, mm, I'm not doing this anymore. Wasting time. So I got, <laughs> I got, I have roasted garlic. I got the four cheese because who is about to make, who is about to play with that stuff again? I'm not playing with those. I'm not wasting food. I'm literally not because I messed up those potatoes, those mashed potatoes so bad last time. It wasn't even a joke. Then I seen these, I got these strawberries, um, strawberry coated pretzels. It's like a snack at work. Just give me a little baggie, just put them in there and take it to work. Um, then I got to respect on the fruit snacks. These fruit snacks, I'm not even like, I think mine's at the bottom and I got these last time. So I just put them as like a little, little snack in my, um, for my lunch. So yeah. Okay, actually I got more groceries than I think I've gotten before. I'm not gonna lie. Um, then I ran out of aluminum, aluminum foil, so I got some more. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff over here. When you guys see it, you're gonna be like, oh um, yeah, I knew you went ham. Then I got some um, penne noodles. Because I have I have pasta sauce, but I don't have like, you know, the noodles. <laughs> then, like I said earlier, I got salsa. I got the mild chunky. I like it chunky. Like it's like, I don't know what it is. Like if it's fully smooth, I'm like, eh, it's like a sauce now. It's not a salsa, you know? Salsa gives me, I love the chunks, the, the onion, the bell pepper. Yeah, I don't like tomatoes, but I'll eat some salsa. I know it sounds crazy, but I'll do that, you know? And then I got these Slims, uh, basic knockout version of Slim Jims. Um, I got these for my lunch again. <laughs> Because my lunch is like, I don't know, my lunch has been like kind of boring lately. And I'm like, let me get some stuff that I kind of like. And then I restock on the chips, tortilla chips. You can never go wrong. I'm always eating like nachos or like, I have like dips in there that I eat. The ones that I bought last time. I bought buffalo dip and I bought like bacon cheddar or something like that. So good. So I got those. I need to give this a pie. Dude, this is crazy. Then I got the artesian bread. This bread is so good, you guys. Like, so good. I feel like I got a small one. I don't know why, but I feel like this one's small. It is, because look, it's just not even matching up. Okay, whatever. Well, I'm only one person, so. And I still have some bread in there. Yeah. Then I got hot dog buns for my hot dogs. I didn't forget that this time. <laughs> and then I finally got eggs because I did not get them last time I went to the grocery store. That was like, I was like, maybe a month ago, almost a month ago. And then, last two things. I'm gonna get my chips for my lunch. And then I'm going to get my tea that I haven't gotten in so long. I already have water. I just need to restock my fridge. So, yeah, that's that's everything I got. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is everything. Bowls, fries, cucumber, hot dogs, turkey, bacon, tortillas down here, cheese, sandwich meat, berries. Habanero, blah, 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 blah. You guys can see it. Salads, chicken, chicken, noodles, eggs, dot, 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 dot. And bang, bang. So yeah, let's get this stuff put up. Let's go.
as you can see, I got it organized. And my, I should put these behind this thing because it's taller. But anyway, that stuff, pasta, like, sides kind of like type stuff. Bacon stuff, snacks down here. I got my Keurigs up here. Got my uh, ramen, chips. Um, and then I got like my Ziploc bags, canned food, that type of stuff. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for right now. Yeah. All right, y'all, so it's like another day. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm adding this to the video. Um, it's another day. Um, I went to Target to get some re-ups on so a few things that I needed. As you can see, my glasses are still transitioning. I low-key hate when that happens. Um, when I'm inside, I feel like it should transition automatic, like, super fast. But, whatever. I got Chick-fil-A <clears throat> again. So, like, literally, y'all, um, the other day, my first time having to take having to take my food back into Chick-fil-A. So literally I did a mobile order and you would think doing a mobile order is like so your food's ready when you get there so you don't have to get in a line, right? With Chick-fil-A, they start making your stuff as soon as you pull up. Okay, that's fine. But like the line was so long, dude. It was like the regular line. It was like five cars in a regular line per one person in the in the mobile order line. Dude, I waited so long. It was like maybe 20, 30 minutes, right? So, dude, when I get my food, my drink is like melted. And um, I got the um, the berry frosted lemonade. So good. It's like a raspberry, cherry, blueberry frosted lemonade. So good. I, I like it. I like it better than... The regular frosted lemonade, but not better than that white peach. They need to bring the white peach back. I don't, the berries good and all, but that white peach did it for me. Anyway, back to the story. I waited like 20 minutes. When I got my drink, it was it was separated because you know the frosted lemonade, the lemonade's gonna start separating from the frost. If it sits there for a while, right? Drink was separated. My drink had drink on the outside of it. It wasn't cleaned off, right? I'm like, okay, whatever. I just drove off. So I reached my hand in my bag, filled my fry. My fry is cold. I tried to even eat the fry. It was soggy. I'm like, all right, I want to play. So I turned around. I had to go back inside. Go inside. It's bumping in there. It's bumping. The pickup line is about taking over the front door. Like, it's bumping at this point. And I'm like, like, I'm just probably not going back to the plate. So then... Um, there was nobody order in the order line. I went up there. I was like, oh, my food's like cold. I waited so long for my food, blah, blah. The girl was like, oh, um, let me get a manager. Tell me why the manager that came up there to the window was the same man the same person who gave me my food. Because I didn't know that was the manager that gave me my food. I'm like, you gave me my food. You knew it was cold. You knew my drink had been sitting there for a while. And she was like, oh, um, oh, I'm sorry about that. I will um I will remake everything for you and give it to you. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And she's like, you can keep the food. You can keep the food or not. It really doesn't matter. And I'm like, don't get an attitude with me, sister. Because y'all messed up my food. Hello? What? Like, what was that? Messed up my food. So, I had, that was the first time I had to go into Chick-fil-A. To, like, get my stuff fixed. I feel like I shouldn't have had to do that. I feel like I shouldn't have had to. I feel like Chick-fil-A should be better than that. But I guess not. So ever since then, I've been like, mm, do I really want to deal with Chick-fil-A? I don't know. I w and then after I got Chick-fil-A today, I was like, dang, I should have just went to Chili's and got the, um, I always get the uh, the Chipotle chicken tenders. And then instead of getting the, the corn on the cob, I get the, I get, instead of the corn on the cob, I get the double fries. So good. The ranch at Chili's, so good. Then I always get the raspberry, um, the berry lemonade with it, period. 10 out of 10. Chopped up. So good. But anyway, I got this and I shouldn't have. I should have just went to Chili, sat down and ate my little food. So yeah, so I got the Spicy Deluxe. As you can see, it said my name, Larry. Larisha, period. 
Yeah, with the Isha at the hand, per. I got the spicy deluxe meal with the frosted lemonade. And then I got chicken tenders for later. I always do that. I'm, I don't know. I, every time I go out and get food, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get stuff for later. Because who feels like cooking? But mind you, another part of this video, I just bought groceries. I'm like, I could have just came home. I just be doing stuff. And, but it's not like I eat out a lot though, so. Not too much, okay? But I'm gonna show y'all my Rhea. <clears throat> and of course I went to Target because Walmart here, I don't even go to Walmart. I just don't fool with it because I'm not gonna lie, the Walmart is raggedy. And they never be having stuff. Like, this, they be looking like a K-slot sale in there. I'm not even joking. K-slot sale. I don't like it. So I don't go. I go to Target and I go to Aldi. And then I go to the food place. The discounted grocery store. That's it. So I got the Mayel Raspberry Mint Daily Styling Cream. I got this because I ran into my Patterns um, hair lotion. And I don't know, the Patterns hair lotion was okay. I just feel like it wasn't like doing it for my curls. Cause I would like wet my hair in the morning and put that in there and then just shake my hair. But I don't know, I just feel like it didn't like, it didn't um, lather good on my hair. Like I had to keep on pumping, pumping, you know? So I ran out of that. So I got this um, instead because the Rosemary Mint is really good, a really good lime. They had the, um, the sea salt and they had the avocado something avocado something they had those but i was like hey i don't know that much about those i was like mm, i don't know so i got this one it's infused with biotin and encourages longer and healthier hair period we need that because we're going bald like what and then i got to re-up on this i got the rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil this is so good you just put put oil your scalp. I oil my scalp at night. Um, now I do. I used to didn't do that, but I oil my scalp at night like every three days because my scalp's dry. My scalp it gets dry so fast. I could be fully hydrated and my scalp will still be dry. That's my tea. Okay. So if you see my hair flaky, just close your mouth. That's it. That's all I gotta say. That's why I'm scared to get braids now. Anyway. I gotta re-up on my Therabreath uh, anti-cavity. This one works really good. Like I have my teeth. I don't know. I I use the sensitive. I use the I use the sensitive Colgate toothpaste, and I use this. So I mean, I would say my teeth used to be sensitive, but this works really good. It's nasty, um, but it works. It, um, it strengthens your teeth enamel and gives you fresh breath. It rebuilds your weakened, uh, rebuilds weakened teeth enamel and prevents, prevents tooth decay. No alcohol, and then and then it's powered by uh, uh, fluoride. So y'all, if y'all using this, make sure this one specifically. Make sure that you're waiting 30 minutes before you eat. It's like when you go to the dentist, you gotta wait after you go to the dentist because they use fluoride and that stuff that they put on your teeth. You gotta wait. Because if you eat it, you're eating the chemical. And it's not good for you. So, yeah. And then, I got these gummies. The, the favorite day gummies. These are so good. And they're way cheaper than any other candy in the store. These are like $149. Like, y'all be thinking it's hard to expensive, but it's really not. Um, some of the stuff, they can run with the best of them, like Dollar Tree. Like, they eat Dollar Tree up sometime with the candy prices. $149 for the bag of candy? Hey, y'all up, Dollar Tree. Now y'all shaking in y'all boots. Now what? <laughs> Screaming. Then I got some other stuff over here. Um, It's three shirts in here. I got something for my sister. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to show. Okay, I can't show the shirts and stuff because that's those are gifts. So, And I know they're going to watch my video, so I'm not going to show it. But I got this. My sister loves, my sister loves Roblox and loves the games and... I always like getting her stuff. I don't know what it is. Every time I, I go to Target, I gotta go to the toy section. I'm like, oh, I gotta look for something for her. I feel like because I'm not there with her, like I just need to get her something, you know, every time I go to the store. So I just got her some stuff. 
I got her this Brookhaven um, <clears throat> little Roblox toy, and it comes with um, and it comes with an exclusive toy or exclusive little little toy or something that goes um, with her in the game. It's like a game where you can like you have a house and stuff like that on Roblox, and you can dress your character up and stuff. It's kind of like real. It's kind of like Sims, but Roblox version, like kid version. You can have a big house and stuff like that. I'll be playing with her sometime. But yeah, I got her this, Brookhaven. Come with these two people. And then I got her, she loves Bluey. She loves Bluey. And I seen this shirt and I just could not not get it because she loves Bluey. I think this is a little big for her, but look at that. I feel like I can almost fit this. <laughs> nah, I can't fit it, but who hair on her, girl? But yeah, I got her this shirt. This is kind of big. I should have got her a small. She might can fit this. Cause I ain't seen her a little bit. So yeah, I got her those got her those two things because I wanted to get her something. Cause I'm not with her. So I was just like, let me get this. She loves Bluey. And I've been looking for Bluey, like a Bluey shirts or something like that for her. She loves Bluey. Down boots. Down boots. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, y'all. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to just eat my little Chick-fil-A. And edit my video. And get it ready to post. Look at that. Girl, not they put on. Um, I hate when they do that. I be forgetting to tell them that I want Kobe Jack. Kobe Jack cheese go crazy on the spicy deluxe. I gotta try it. But I never had it to where they put like. Is this American? I think this is American. Mm-hmm. Period. Bye, all right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and show your boy some love. Um, <laughs> peace out.